Hello, this is a very brief introduction to Wearscape software. Wearscape build tools to accelerate the delivery of data warehouse projects using development automation to eliminate 90% of the time and effort a team would normally take. Delivering projects fast does not only improve IT's feel-good factor, but it allows IT to engage and deliver projects with the business to get value out of the data faster. Wearscape tools use automation over the entire life cycle of data warehouse development to reduce the time and effort to deliver projects. Dramatically improving developer performance gives the team the option to be agile, reducing project risk by allowing them to adjust and adapt to a better understanding of data and requirements during the project. The resulting development is quicker to build, more standardized, easier to support, and fully documented. Wearscape sell three main products. Wearscape 3D, which is a design tool specifically for data warehousing, and which can be used on its own or as a complement to Wearscape Red. Wearscape Red is our data warehouse development automation tool, central to all Wearscape customers. And we also have DataVault Express, which is a package of Wearscape Red and 3D configured specifically to build data warehouses that incorporate the DataVault methodology, as described by Dan Lindstedt. Wearscape Red defines layers to the processing within a data warehouse, building and managing all of the red layers shown here. Red uses a centralized metadata repository to manage tables, generate code, to move, persist, transform data using SQL as its primary transformation language, leveraging the database as a data processing engine. Working from left to right in this diagram, we'd use the tool Wearscape Red to extract source data and load it into the data warehouse incrementally from files, databases, and web services using generated loader code. Staging tables and code are generated to apply data transforms, data persistence, and business transforms to the data before publishing the data out to an end user layer for consumption by BI and reporting tools. In this extremely cut down demo, I will build, populate, and document a dimension table from data I load from outside the data warehouse. I'll then make a change, rebuild, and repopulate the data. First, I'm going to log into Wearscape Red, into our development environment. I'm going to make a connection to a source database containing data that I want to bring into my data warehouse. And I'm going to bring in this customer list that I need in my data warehouse. I'm going to drag that across. I'm going to apply standards, standardized naming, storage, data type mappings as I make that, uh, as I move that data in. Once that data has been moved into the data warehouse, I can then work within the data warehouse and I'm going to use this customer data to create a dimension table. So here I'm going to take this load customers table we just built. I'm going to drag that forward. All of the attributes come with it to create a dimension table. And here I can create a type 1, a type 2, a type 3, maybe something more cunning like a type 6 dimension um, using this wizard here. And I'm going to create a type 2 dimension. Now this is normally a significant piece of work, but what we're going to do here is we're going to define the target table with best practices applied, a surrogate key, start date, end date, current flag, and version number. We're going to generate some code. I just need to give it some additional information to build this code. Uh, the business key, I'm going to tell it to use a merge statement. And I'm going to identify my type 2 attributes, leaving the other attributes as type 1 or overwrite attributes. Now that's created me some um, code that I would normally have to have built by hand. And one of the properties of this table is the SQL code we just generated. And depending on which target platform I use, that code will be slightly different. We optimize the code for the specific target platforms. So we've built and populated this, this table. I'm just going to generate some documentation over the data warehouse. And we're going to generate two different types of documentation compiled into HTML. It's intended to be published onto the internet site. One is end user documentation. The other is uh, technical documentation. So the end user documentation is going to show me the structure of the end user layer 
It's going to describe the show me the business glossary or the data dictionary of the end user layer attributes and allow me to hop around uh, in this uh, model. Uh, if we have a look at our customer dimension here, we didn't really spend too much time adding to that documentation. The technical documentation is intended for an IT audience that's going to describe how something was built. Uh, it's going to display a source to target mapping, data lineage diagram, it's going to describe the indexes. Every table is described in the data warehouse, including the code that we've generated. Normally, again, something that would have to be written by hand. The nice thing is that documentation never gets out of date. If we have a look at our uh, dimension table, and we have a look at the columns here, I'm going to make a change to one of these columns. One of these columns is full of nulls. I'm going to change the column name. I'm going to add a description for the, for the documentation. Something really useful there. I'm going to add a transform because I want to clean this data up. I want to use a, a database function to replace nulls here with this default value. So I'm going to change the structure of the table, change the code to populate that table, execute it, and look at the results. And there's a very fast turnaround there, a little unit test very, very rapidly. Even over millions of records, that will be uh, nice and fast because it's a set-based operation in the database. And now I could go and regenerate documentation for that object that I've just updated. So although we only scratch the surface, you can see that RED presents a highly productive interface to the developer, blending what are normally separate development tasks together and automating much of the development. Westgate tools are used by all types and sizes of organizations around the world to reduce the time and risk of data warehouse delivery. This applies to massive data warehouses built by household names with huge data volumes, complexity, and big teams on Teradata or Snowflake, down to smaller teams, maybe using SQL Server as their target environment. Please look at our website and videos for more information.